So on my newest image, I'm making a version that has a G-code viewer built in. It's the uh, pretty G-code. Uh, you're going to, to view it. You're either going to put in a3dp.local colon 7136 or your IP address colon 7136. So first thing you're going to do is either open up a command prompt and you can type in ssh at pi. I mean ssh pi at, so I'll show you what I mean. You literally just type in ssh pi at, and if you're using my image, you can type in a3dp.local. If you're using whatever, uh, main cell image, main cell os.local, or if you know your IP, just put in your IP address. If you have an older version of Windows, or, uh, I mean, Mac can do that too, but uh, if you have an older version of Windows, or for whatever reason, it's not letting you use the default, SSH client. You can use a program like Putty. And the default password will be Raspberry. Or in my case, if you're using my image, it'll be A3DP. The first step is you're going to JIT clone uh, Kia. So you want to make sure you're in your parent directory so you do cd till or it should be in there at the beginning and then you type in jit clone https phone backslash backslash github.com whatever you see on the screen I'll, I'll make a little uh post on the website with these commands so you're going to clone in then after that you're going to run kia and you're going to go to install and then number eight for pretty G code. That's fine for it for it to be on. It's going to ask for the password again. And then you are done as far as installing it. Next is you need to go into your Moonraker config .conf file and make sure that you have either no authorization section or if you do have an authorization section you want to use this now if you want to be able to use my main cell dot local or a3dp dot uh yeah my main cell dot xyz uh like remote client then you need the authorization section if you don't care about that then you don't need an authorization section so see right now it's saying it's disconnected So I reload it. Now it's connected and printing. Now if you keep things simple, you don't need an API key or anything. This is obviously on a different uh, machine that I'm showing it right now. Uh, I was showing the install on a separate machine. But uh, let me show you what the authorization section looks like on this machine. So you have to make sure you add a wildcard. Basically, it's a wildcard for all those domains. Um, if you're worried about having everything being too open, just use this. Instead. And get rid of that. To the lost connection now, so what I expected, and now it's reloaded. Let's see if it connects. There you go. So that's the safer way to do it.
And that's pretty G-Code viewer.